welcome to Stagey's Beautiful Tips. I am Stagey and this is Stacy's friend Alicia. We are going to do a Biore nose strip with eggs and toilet paper. Here we go! Let's start the show. What is first step? She is going to do the teachings because I would never put toilet paper on my face. First step actually is we're going to remove any makeup that we have where we're going to apply the strips. Okay. Oh, it's a lot of blush. I also have lots of blush in the wig. Still waiting on viewer comments on how to get blush out of wig. Not to mention the turmeric in the bottom of my hair. We'll just crack our egg and then we'll give this whole bottle thing a shot. There we go. We should be able to take the water bottle, squeeze some air out, put it over the yolk. <gasps> I would like to try it. So you crack the egg into the bowl, or you give the bottle a squeeze, and you go over the yolk. Oh my, look at that! Two yolks in one! Now we're gonna give our egg whites a little mix. The next thing we're gonna do is get our toilet paper ready. Take it and just try to split yeah. the ply. It's not gonna look as neat and fancy as a uh, Biore strip might, but uh, significantly less expensive. Just gonna throw my hair on top of my head and this is a DIY messy bun. These are also for messy buns. <laughs> We're gonna put our washcloths in some hot water. This hot water helps your pores expand and open up. <laughs> Take a fan brush, you can use your hand. Dip it in the egg white. I'm gonna do a light painting. Oh, it's very cold. Take your tissues. Okay. Dab it onto your nose. And try to like tuck it in your little nose crevice there. And you can fold that up if you want to oh. like double it. You have to let it sit for 10-20 minutes until she's dry. I'm gonna do a second layer up top on my nose because you do have to pull it off after. We're going to make this a very nice little goatee here. I'm having trouble breathing. Yeah, you've got like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's starting to set so you're just gonna have to be a mouth breather for a little while. You sound like a dog. This isn't going to come off like a strip. It's supposed to. It's supposed to. It's supposed to. This is like paper mache your face. While you're waiting, what we can do is a little bit of an unboxing. You know on Instagram they have like if you click now, you get 50% off, and I'm like, hey, I need some leather pants. They are supposed to uplift your butt. Here's the thing, you get things and then they look nothing like them. So, I will do a review for you. They're not real leather. No, I don't wear real leather. Okay, this was not a, this was not an option. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> oh, Jeffrey Christ. This was not at all in the picture. Maybe this is something I can take off because I don't know why you would want a white stripe on your black pants. Oh, these aren't even real pockets. <laughs> oh my god, look at how piece of crap these are. Okay, let's see if they actually look like a butt lifting pants. These are the pants. This has to go. This was not even in it's the not image. Even in the center. This well, is not real. They look nice though, like I like the way they look. The butt's okay, yeah. but I feel like it might rip soon. Yes, well. You have to be, <laughs> like right now, you have to be very careful buying things online. They never look the same. However, one hit onesies, those things are for real. They're made of quality material, recycled, repurposed, because we care about the environment. Absolutely. Okay, uh, so now we have waited. We noticed the chin one is still a little bit wetty, so we don't know how this will go. But the nose one, it actually yeah. goes so hard. The only thing we noticed that is the downfall about this, besides looking like we just had plastic surgery, is that it smells really, oh. really bad. So you have to put up with that, but you know, beauty does come at a price. Absolutely. This price is free, but it comes with the price of stinky. Okay, are we gonna do this? Yes, let's do it. Oh. Ow. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. I need. Oh, it worked. Oh my gosh, it actually worked. So you 
you can see there's some some blackheads. I love when the do-it-yourself actually works. I, oh my goodness. So there you go. It is actually something that works that you can do at home and you can use our fun method to get out the yolks. This is actually really good. So if you want to get the blackheads out of your nose, you just need really just egg whites and the tissue ply. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment below. We would love to know if you tried it, if it worked for you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Alicia, for oh, teaching us this. These tips, they're for you, they're for me, and for the world. Okay. Is it, isn't it a secret? Oh, yes. And remember, it's a secret for you, for me, and for the world. You're very good at remembering secrets. Just letting you know, if you want to use your hands, you got to use them above your boobs. I, like right now I can't see your elbows, I can see your hands, I can see your boobs, but everything below your necklace is not showing. Is my necklace showing? Yep. Well, oh, we're dealing with three ply here. My man has a very strong defense that he has to get through. No, see, he will. <laughs> Stop the show! I'll be right back after this commercial. Alicia, you're left with the viewers to enter them. Hi. What's up? Hey. Love that smile. I hope this works. I also hope we don't get more egg in her wig. I'm gonna touch it with my fingers. Oh, this is a grossy material. I don't think that, like, Oof. so far there's been a DIY that isn't gaggy. Kinda... There's a thing about consistency that really grosses me out, and for the turmeric video, it was the coconut oil. Ooh. Thinking about it makes me a little sick. Oh. <laughs> I, I can't laugh. <laughs> yeah, it's totally falling off. Should we redo your chin? Your nose is pretty sturdy. Yes. Like it's attempting to suffocate you. So, yes. I mean... Oh, did I get on your lip? Yes, indeed. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. This accent is going a different way. It happens sometimes. Oh. <laughs> In the hair again. Yes, I, I think that after my hundredth video we will we will frame this wig and it will forever be known the DIY things in my hair wig.